Hello, everyone. I'm Vincenzo Calla, and welcome to Meet the PMs, Episode 7. Today, we will be meeting Canada's seventh Prime Minister, Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Sir Wilfrid Laurier was born in St. Lynn, Quebec, on November 20th, 1841. He was a lawyer before entering politics. He first started getting involved in politics in 1866 when he ran Le Dufrichard, a liberal newspaper. Sir Wilfrid Laurier became Prime Minister on July 11th, 1896, and served until October 6th, 1911. He represented the ridings of Drummond Arthabasca, Saskatchewan, Wright, Ottawa, Quebec East, and Soulange. He was a member of the Liberal Party of Canada. Sir Wilfrid Laurier died in Ottawa, Ontario on February 17, 1919. Sir Wilfrid Laurier had accomplishments and he had failures. His biggest accomplishment was taking Canada into a new era. He made Canada a popular place and it was booming. New immigrants came in, business was exploding, and the country's boundaries expanded, including the addition of Saskatchewan and Alberta, the provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta, to Canada. Wilfrid Laurier even once famously said the 19th century was the century of the United States. I think we can claim that it is Canada that shall fill the 20th century. His biggest failure was the Alaska boundary dispute where Canada and the U.S. had a dispute over the new land America acquired from Russia and they had a problem with this because of the gold rush. The way it was going was uh, the ports uh, America wanted some of the ports, so they kind of split it half and half. So some of the coast of BC is actually belongs to America. His second biggest accomplishment was finally resolving the Manitoba schools question that plagued his predecessors. It plagued pretty much all of uh, McDonald's successors. So he finally got rid of it, uh, got it resolved by permitting the Catholics to provide a religious education in the schools that already existed. His second biggest failure was the general dislike for his new navy from both English and French Canada. He created a small navy, but only to be used to assist Britain. English Canada thought that it was not powerful or permanent enough, and French Canada did not like that it was created for the purpose of serving England. His third biggest accomplishment was making the Liberals an electable party. Except for Alexander Mackenzie's short time as Prime Minister, the majority of Canada's post-Confederation years were led by a Conservative government and a Conservative stronghold. He changed that, and because of this, he is a strong Liberal figurehead, even to this day. The, the Liberal Party of Canada has a donors club called the Laurier Club. The third biggest failure was an attempt at a free trade deal with the U.S. when it should have helped farmers and other Canadian businesses, but it failed and it only gave more economic power to the U.S., which scared some Canadians. Today, Sir Wilfrid Laurier is remembered as Canada's great conciliator because he was often able to do things with the approval of most Canadians and uh, the English and the French, really, and something that did fail eventually, which made him lose his job. Uh, he is especially remembered because he took Canada into a new era. Sir Wilfrid Laurier is also remembered in a negative light because of the Alaska boundary dispute. So final recap of Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Served from 1896 to 1911, brought Canada into a new era, but struggled with U.S. relations when it came to Alaska purchase and trade. In the future, Sir Wilfrid Laurier will be remembered as Canada's best mediator and the Liberals' monumental figurehead. So that is all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning about Sir Wilfrid Laurier. You can check out some more videos about all the Canadian Prime Ministers on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Check out my website, VincenzoCallet.com, and follow VC Productions 25 on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Calla, signing out. Meet the PMs is a VCALA production.